Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I will be doing this CSEC Chemistry January 2020 Paper 1 and I would like to say thank you to all of my loyal subscribers and if you are visiting my channel for the very first time, welcome to the Think CSEC family and also please go ahead and hit that subscribe button and turn on your notification bell so that you know when new videos are put out. So give this video a thumbs up by pressing the like button. So let's get into this paper. This is gonna be part one. So there's gonna be two part videos. So make sure you subscribe to know when part two is out. So let's get into this paper. So I will just be giving you the answers to these questions. So the first one says, one property of ionic compounds is that they A, contain molecules, B, are solids and vaporize easily, C, usually dissolve in organic solvents, D, conduct electricity when molten or dissolved in water. So the answer is D. Let's move on to question number two. Which of the following processes does not provide evidence in support of the particulate nature of matter? A, osmosis, B, diffusion, C, filtration, D, Brownian motion. So the answer is C, filtration. Items three to four refer to the four sets of properties represented by the options A, B, C, and D below. Which set of properties above refers to a neutron? So a neutron. So we know it is B, B for three. Four says, which set of properties above refers to a proton? So we know it is a for four. A for four. Let's go to number five. Sulfuric acid is a stronger acid than arsenic acid or acetic acid in aqueous solution because sulfuric acid A is more corrosive than ethanic acid, B is more concentrated than ethanic acid. C, ionized to a greater extent than ethanic acid. D, causes sugar to char, whereas ethanic acid does not. So the answer for five is C. Ionizes to a greater extent than ethanic acid. Six, which of the substances represented by the options A, B, C, and D in the following table is most likely sodium chloride, so we know it is A. Seven says, isotopes of an element contain A, different numbers of protons, B, the same number of neutrons, C, the same number of electrons as neutrons, D, the same number of protons as electrons. So the answer is D, the same number of protons as electrons. Let's go to number eight. What mass of oxygen atoms contains the same number of moles as 112 grams of sugar atoms? So, the answer is C. In your working out, you should get C. Nine, two solutions are to be mixed in order to demonstrate endothermic change. Which of the following techniques would be most appropriate? A, taking mass readings. B, taking temperature readings. C, monitoring the pH of the solutions. D, carefully observing color changes. So the answer for that is B, taking temperature readings. 10, an element X has an electronic configuration 281. At which of the following position is the element in the periodic table? Is it A, periodic? 
period 1, group 2, B, period 1, group 1, C, period 3, group 2, D, period 3, group 1. So the answer is D. Let's go on to number 11. Item 11 refers to the following equation, which represents the re reaction between ethene and chlorine. So what type of reaction does the equation above represent? A, addition, B, substitution, C, addition, polymerization, D, condensation, polymerization. So the answer is A, addition. Twelve. Which of the following groups of mixtures is arranged in order of increasing particle size? size? A, colloids, solutions, suspensions, B, solutions, suspensions, colloids, C, solutions, colloids, suspensions, D, suspensions, colloids, solutions. So the answer is C, solutions, colloids, suspensions. 13. Ionic bond formation results from A, donation of electrons from a non-metal to a metal to achieve stability. B, donation of electrons from a metal to a non-metal to achieve stability. C, attraction between the positively charged ions of a metal and a pool of electrons. D, sharing of electrons between the atoms of a metal and non-metal to achieve stability. So the, number, the answer is B. So number 14, an acid may be defined as a A, proton donor, B, neutron donor, C, proton acceptor, D, neutron acceptor. Now, the answer for 14 would be A. 15, ethanic acid reacts with ethanol to form an ester and water. How many moles of ethanic acid are required to produce 0.5 mole of ester? So it would be 0.5 B. 16. From which of the foreign substances can a solid be obtained by the process of sedimentation? A. Suspensions. B. Emulsions. C forms D gels. So the answer is A suspensions. 17. Item 17 refers to the following graph in which shows the variation of the pH of the mixture formed when solution Y is added to a fixed volume of solution X. So which of the following pairs of substances can represent solutions X and Y? So that would be C. Let's go to number 18. Which of the following halogens is liquid at room temperature? A, iodine, B, fluorine, C, chlorine, or D, bromine. So, the answer for 18 would be D. Let's move on to number 19. A piece of metal is reacted with an acid to produce hydrogen gas. Which of the following steps should be employed in order to increase the rate of the reaction? So A, 1, increasing the temperature at which the reaction is carried out. 2, subdividing the piece of metal. 3, reducing the concentration of the acid. So it would be one and two only, A. Let's move on to number 20. Which of the following properties increases across period three of the periodic table? Atomic radius, 
B, atomic number, C, tensile strength, or D, metallic character? So the answer is B, atomic number. 21. Which of the following substances do not produce water when reacted with acid? A, carbonates, B, metal oxides, C, active metals, or D, metal hydroxides? The answer is C, active metals. Let's go to number 22. Item 22. Items 22 to 23 refers to the following information. A piece of calcium was added to some distilled water in a container, and the following observations were recorded. One, bubbles of gas evolved. Two, a cloudy suspension was formed. 22, the gas produced is expected to A, relight a glowing, a glowing, relight a glowing splint. B, give a pop with a lighted splint. C, turn acidified aqueous potassium dichromate green. D, decolorize acidified aqueous potassium magnanate. Seven. So the answer is B, give a pop with a lighted splint. 23. A sample of the suspension was filtered and the pH of the filtrate determined. The expected pH of the filtrate should be approximately A3, B5, C7, D10. The answer is D10. 24. Which of the following salts is an acid salt? A. Let's go to number 25. Sodium, hydrogen, carbonate, and hydrochloric acid reacted to produce sodium chloride. The mixture FRZ, the effervescence is caused by the evolution of A, oxygen, B, hydrogen, C, carbon dioxide, D, hydrogen chloride. So it is C, carbon dioxide. 26. Which of the following diagrams illustrates bonding in oxygen? So we can tell it is right here at B. Let's go to number 27. Which of the following is a correct formula for ammonium carbonate? C. 28 says, which of the following products would be produced by the electrolysis? Electrolysis of dilute sulfuric acid. So we know it is A. 29 says a solution of sodium hydroxide is neutralized by the addition of dilute hydrochloric acid. The results obtained are used to plot the graph below. Which of the points on the graph above represents the neutralization point of the reaction? So it is at Q, B. Let's look at our final question. It says, item 30 refers to the following apparatus, which is used to measure the relative conductivity of various substances. So 30, if substances contain one mole of solute per dm cube are investigated, which substance should cause the bulb to glow brightest? A, water, B, ammonia, C, sulfuric acid, or D, ethanic acid. So the answer would be C, sulfuric acid. So there we have it. We have come to the end of part one of the C set, chemistry, January 2020, paper one. Stay tuned for part two.